everybody. Welcome to Bar with Mary. We have a lower body slider class today. I love these classes. They are so challenging, they are so effective, and you feel amazing when you're all done. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be using a dish towel for a slider, but I am on wood floors. If you are on carpet, you're gonna want anything with a smooth bottom. Paper plate, um, a magazine, or a hardcover book. I don't know why you would have a CD, but if you happen to have a CD laying around, that would probably work really well. <laughs> the kids are like, what's a CD? Um, anyway, grab some, grab your equipment, toss it off to the side so you have easy access to it, and then join me with your legs wide and in parallel. So all 10 toes are pointing toward me. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, hands come to prayer. You're gonna bend into the right knee and really actively reach your hips back. Yes, skater lunges left and right, go, left, and right. So the first thing you wanna find here is that you're really shifting the weight back into the heels. The legs are nice and wide, so you're getting this stretch for the inner thighs, and you're starting to build a little bit of heat for the backs of the legs. You're gonna meet me over to the right in four, three, two, hold it to the right, go, little down, little down, little pulse, little pulse, inner thighs are pressing away from each other. You're driving more energy into that right heel. Now I want you to keep going with this pulse. Let's see if you can take some of the weight out of your left foot, yes. So you're really up on the left tippy toe. We got a little balance challenge coming up in four, three, two, take an inhale. As you exhale, drive through the right heel, pull the left knee up into the chest and catch it. Yes, circle the left ankle around here. And then reverse your circle. Take a moment, really drive down through the right heel and squeeze out a right glute, inhale. As you exhale, right hand stays where it is. The left arm's gonna reach back behind you. Take a little twist. Now you can absolutely extend your left leg straight here, I just don't have space. Take an inhale. As you exhale, unwind your chest. Unwind your spine, I should really say. Step the left foot out, skater lunges left, right. Left, yes, right. If you want a little more, the arms reach forward and back. Go, reach and reach. Now maybe, now that you're a little warmer, you can take your feet a little wider. You're gonna meet me over to the left in four, three, two. Hold it left, go a little pulse, a little pulse. You can bring the hands back to the chest. Inner thighs press away from each other. Weight is into that left heel. Keep going with these pulses. Let's we'll see if you can shift the weight out of the right foot. Yes, you're here for eight, six. You're here for four, three, two, hold it, inhale. Exhale, press down to the left foot, pull the right knee up, whoop, and catch it. Circle the right ankle around, yes. Little balance challenge, it's early in class, so if you fell, don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> Reverse your circle. Talking to myself more than anyone else. <laughs> Take an inhale, we'll let that ankle roll go. As you exhale, really squeeze out a left glute. Left hand stays where it is. And then a right arm reaches back behind you, or in my case, it's gonna come to the back of my head because I don't have the space. Inhale, stand taller, open the chest. As you exhale, one more time, unwind yourself, and then step that right foot out. Take a wide leg forward fold. Let your head go here, let your shoulders go, maybe rock your hips side to side, and then just take a moment and see how your body feels. Big inhale. As you exhale, bend the knees, externally rotate, turn the legs out, and let your elbows come to your inner thighs for a nice inner thigh stretch. If you're not able to come this slow, you can absolutely come to your hands. That's a great option as well. Nothing too crazy is gonna be asked of you here. Just let this feel really good. So if you wanna twist, you should twist. If you wanna take some cats and cows, do that. If you just wanna rock side to side or even just hold, I'd love for you to do that too. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Hands to the mat. One more time, forward fold, rotating the legs back to parallel. Bend the knees. Drop the tail and then slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Quarter turn to the right. Let me just adjust my mat. Grab your slider. We're gonna come into our first series on the right leg. So right foot is gonna be on your mat. Left foot is going to be on the slider. 
We're going to square our hips off here so that back left hip rotates forward. Inhale, lift the heart. As you exhale, four counts, you're going to hinge the torso forward and slide those left toes back. Four counts, you're going to drive through the right heel. Come all the way up, it's down. Two, three, four, and lift. Two, three, yes, take it down. Two, three, four, take a lift. Now as you lower down, I want you to hinge your torso forward so that your shoulders stack over your front right knee. As you come up, you really drive down through the right heel and go a lot slower than you want to. Yes, take a lift. Two, three, four, take it down. Two, you have two more full range. It's up and it's down. Yeah, already I'm starting to feel that heat. Take a lift, two, three, I'm falling over. Take it down, two, hold this one down, pull the left knee in and back, it goes in and back, yes, in and out. Now with sliders, the goal is to have as little weight as possible on that slider, right? So almost all of my weight is into my right foot here. Right hip is drawing back and the left hip is drawing forward. So I'm nice and square through the pelvis, feeling a lot of heat into this right leg. Yes, you're here for four. Three, two, you're gonna stop halfway out and just drop the hips, little drop, little drop. So back left knee is under my left hip. Front right knee is strong over my front right ankle. Torso is hinging forward, so my shoulders are stacked over that front right knee. Yes, it's a little drop, a little drop, a little drop. We're gonna do that whole series from the top. You're there in eight. Back leg extends. You're there in four, three, two. Extend that back left leg and lift. Two, three, yes. Take it down. Two, three, four. It's lift. Two, three. Beautiful work, it's down. Now really fight as you come up to stay slow. As you come down, feel as though someone is really actively pulling your right hip back. So we're not letting the pelvis open towards me. You're really staying square like two little headlights facing straight towards this right side wall, it's down. Two, three. Two more, take it, lift. Two, three, yes, take it down. Two, three, last one goes up. Two, three, meet me on the down in four, three. Hold it, back left leg goes in and out, go in and out. From here, you have that little hinge lunge series and then we will be laying back on our back to finish out the right side work. Yes. So if your mat is rolled up like mine, you're going to want to take a moment to unroll it. See so if something a little more comfortable to lay on. You're here for four. Three. Two. Stop halfway. The hips go a little drop, little drop, little drop. Back left hip spins forward. Press down through the front right heel. Shoulders are hinging forward. Strong through the abdominals. Eight more, go eight. On your back in six. On your back in four. Three, two, push your slider to the side, lay back on your back. Right foot is gonna come to the floor. The left leg is gonna cross over as if you're doing a figure four stretch. Take an inhale. As you exhale, pubic bone scoops to belly button as you squeeze the glutes and lift the seat a few inches off of your mat. Yes, the seat goes little lift. Little lift, little lift. So you have a figure four shape with your left leg. And we're continuing to work the right side glutes. Notice here, if your left hip is dropping, lift your left hip, left hip in line with your right. Arms can be down at your side. Or sometimes I like to send them up to the ceiling as a reminder to stay soft across the chest and heavy in the shoulders, here for eight, six, here for four, 
you're going to hold that lift. You can stay where you are with the left leg, or you can extend the left leg up to the ceiling. Yes, yes. Left leg goes down and lift it up. Left leg halfway down and squeeze the lift. Now, if you're in that figure four shape, you're just holding, really focusing on pressing your right heel into the mat and keeping your hips lifting without arching in your low back. Two more, take it down and lift. Last one goes down. You're going to hold this lift, press the seat, go a little up, little up, little up. Left leg is reaching up, left quadricep is squeezing or you're still in that figure four shape. Either way, right glute is getting a ton of work. Go, 16. You're rolling onto your left side to finish your right glute series in eight, six, in four, lower down. That was anticlimactic, sorry. <laughs> Roll onto your left side. Now your choice here, you are welcome to prop yourself up, or if you prefer, you can come all the way down on to lie on your left side. Pull the knees in, heels line up with the seat, beautiful, squeeze the heels together, and then float the feet a few inches off of your mat, yes. So you feel this top of right glute fire right away. From here, squeeze the heels, clamshell, open and down, go, open and squeeze, hips lift and lower. I know it's a total marathon for this right side. You're almost there though, I promise. If you need to slow this down or to pause, don't hesitate to do that. I want you to really actively squeeze your heels together first and butterfly the right thigh bone open after. So it's squeeze open and close, squeeze open and close. Yes, go for it. Hold it open in three, hold it open in two. You're gonna hold this one open. Yes, just squeeze the heels, go little press, little lift, little lift. Right thigh presses up. Notice if your right hip is starting to roll back here. Right hip is stacked directly over left, which might mean you need to roll it forward just as slightly. You're here for eight, six, go four. Hold it, hook the left leg lower down to the mat, keeping the right leg where it is. Extend the right leg out and bend it in, yes. Extend it out and bend it in. Notice your thigh is not changing its location. The lower legs are extending and in, yes, go out and bend. Three more, it's reach and bend. Left side body is lifted, shoulders are soft. Now I want you to hold that extension, little circle, go around, around. Does not matter which direction you're going because we're going to go both ways. Yes, so I'm drawing a circle about the size of a clementine, not too big. Really feeling this outer right glute fire. Go three, go two. Reverse directions go, little circle, little circle, little circle. So not only are you feeling this right glute work really deeply, but you're trying to find a lot of work into that supporting left side as well. Yes, you're here for eight, six, four. Here's where you finish little lifts. Go a little up, little up, little up, little up. You have 16, no hold, go 16. This is it. Could you get this right leg straighter? Could you reach it longer? Yes, you're here for eight. No hold, go six. Higher, higher, four, three, two. Ooh, bend that right leg in, whoa. Come all the way up to a seat, keeping your legs in a slow mermaid position. Left arm's gonna reach up and over. Ooh, for a nice little counter stretch, opening up to that left side body, yes. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Before we take the other side, I want you to cross that right ankle over your left thigh and find a figure four stretch. So you could do this seated, or if you prefer to lay down, you're more than welcome to do that. Take a moment. Rock the hips gently from side to side. Feel how much work you just did into that right glute. And know that we get to do all of it again <laughs> to even you out. One more big breath in, and then big breath out. Find yourself unwinded and into a downward dog. I don't know that unwinded is a word, probably unwound. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going with it. Let's go with unwinded. I'm making it happen. 
<laughs> Maybe pedal through your feet here. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, walk your feet to your hands. I am going to fold my mat up so that I'm able to slide, grab your slider, and step your left foot onto your mat. Right foot is going to be on the slider behind your mat. Whether that's a wood or carpet is fantastic. Inhale, lift the heart. As you exhale, you're going to slide the right toes back. You're gonna hinge the torso forward as you actively pull your left hip back. Yes, four counts, go stand. Two, three, four, take it down. Two, three, four, it's lift. Up and up and up, yes, and down. So here, we find a slightly slower pace. So a lot of times in my classes, and in a lot of our classes, you get moving pretty quickly, right? You get the music gets you going, you're having fun. <laughs> you think maybe if I move faster, it'll make it feel like it goes faster. Yeah. Here, I want you to really intentionally slow yourself down and really feel all of the twitching fibers, all of those muscles that have to work to bring you up. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three. Just like on the first side, as you come down, you're gonna hinge the torso forward and stack your shoulders over that front left knee. Yes, two more, you take it down. You take it lift. The last time you take it down, you're gonna hold this down, back right leg pulls in and out, go in and out. Left hip is pulling back and a right hip is pressing forward. Drive down through your front left heel. And notice if you're gripping your left toes here. Really try to soften and lengthen the toes as you take some of the weight out of the right foot. So you're able to continue sliding successfully, <laughs> like me. Yes, four more, go, four, three, two. It's just halfway out, you drop the hips, little drop. Little drop, little drop. Ground down through that front left heel. Pull the left hip bone back. And really stay long through the spine. Keeping the abdominals wrapping in to support your low back. Yes, we're going back to the top. That full range of motion is on deck in eight. In six, right leg long in four, three, two. Right leg long, you press it up, two, three, Four, you take it right back down. Yes, one more time, slow it down. Let it feel really challenging. Yes, go up, two, three, take it down. As you come down again, really feel your left hip drawing back. So you're not opening the pelvis toward me. We're staying square to this left side wall. Go down. Two, yes. Two more, you take it, lift. You take it lower. The last one, you take it up. You meet me down, four, three, two. Back right leg pulls in and out, go in and out, yes. Weight is in the front right foot, excuse me, front left foot. Really actively driving down through the left heel. Left hip pulling back, eight, seven. Shoulder soft, back of the neck is long, go four, three, two. Now I want you to stop halfway and drop the hips, go a little drop, a little drop, a little drop. We're back on our back. Coming into that back dancing position. Again, if you folded your mat up, you're gonna wanna unroll it. Or you could always just step to the side if you've got a carpet there or something. Yeah, you're here for eight, get lower. Six, get lower. Here for four, three, two. Slide your slider out of the way. Lay back on your back. Left foot plants. Right ankle crosses over, figure four. Push to the left heel. Take an inhale. Exhale, pubic bone scoops toward belly button. As you push the left heel down, squeeze the glute, lift it up, go a little left, a little left. A little lift. Arms can be wherever you feel like you can best soften through the upper body. 
so they can rest at your side. They can extend up wherever you find that you can hug your ribs in and draw them down. Feel your shoulders heavy and your collarbones nice and wide. Yes. Now can you take the tension out of your face and out of your neck? You're here for eight, six, four. You're gonna hold that up. You can stay right here if you're ready for a little more. Right leg extends up, you lower halfway down and lift it up, yes. So pelvis is not moving. Left heel is driving down and my left glute is squeezing to stabilize me. Two more, inhale down and exhale lift. Last one, it's inhale down. Now you hold the lift, you lift it up, go a little up, little up, little up. If you need a little reprieve, figure four with this right leg, little up, little up. You know we're rolling to the right side. Coming into that clam series, you're there in eight. You're there in six, to the right side in four, three, two, lower the seat, roll onto the right side. Now you can come to whatever position feels most comfortable for your spine and neck. Bend the knees, heels are in line with the seat. Squeeze the feet together and then float them a few inches off the mat. Heel squeeze, left leg open, the left leg close. Yes, the left leg open, the left leg close. Option, pick it up, it's open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. The top left hip stays stacked over bottom right. So I'm not letting my pelvis rotate up, up, <laughs> whoop, to the ceiling. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my speech today, my goodness. I've filmed a few classes. <laughs> this is the last one. They appear to be going a bit loopy. Again, as you did on the first side, I want you to really squeeze your heels together before you let this left thigh bone clamshell open. Yes, you're here for four. And three. And two. You're gonna hold the open, squeeze the heels, left leg goes little up, little up, little up. Shoulders soft. And then really check in with this bottom right side. Lift the right side obliques. Lift the right rib cage up and then soften through the shoulders. Go eight and six and four. You're gonna hold that open. Let your bottom right leg lower down towards the mat. Extend the left leg out and bend it in. Yes, left leg extends, left leg bends in. So again, left thigh is not changing position in space. I'm just allowing the lower leg bones to extend to meet it and then bend right back in. Yeah, outer left seat is really firing here. Two more, you reach it out. You bend it in. The last one goes to reach it out. Now I should hold the extension of the left leg if the little circles go around, around, around. Yes, really tiny circle. Now as you fatigue, you might start to tense into the shoulders and the neck. Soften wherever you can. You're here for four, three, Two, reverse your circle, go around, go around. So we have our final series here. And then we'll come to standing to finish really fatiguing the entire lower body. And then you're in your stretch. You're here for eight, six, four. Last variation, straight leg lifts, go little up, little up, little up. You don't have a hold. So where could you get a little deeper here? Could you squeeze the left quadricep? You can get the left leg a little straighter. Could you lift it just a little bit higher? It's 16, ready? 16, 15, maybe close your eyes. Breathe. There's no hold, you're here for eight. You're here for six. You're here for four, three, two. Ooh, bend that left leg in. Press yourself up to this little mermaid-like position and sweep the left arm up and overhead. <sighs> Opening up to the right side of the body. Take an inhale and an exhale. Seated figure four. The left ankle crosses over right thigh. Lift the heart. And then if it feels good, take a little movement, rocking the legs from side to side. Just releasing all of that work you just did. Wow, my glutes are fatigued. <laughs> take a big breath. Ready, I'm gonna use it again. Now unwind it yourself. <laughs> and come to your downward dog. 
lift the hips high. Ooh, press the hands into the mat and pedal through the feet, however you need. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drive both heels down to the mat. Big finish here, step the right foot forward. Quarter turn to face knee and rise all the way up to stand. Externally rotate your legs here, so find that turned out position. Sink your hips. Yes, you're in a wide turned out. Arms can be wherever you want them to be, does not matter to me. Take it a little down, a little up, go. A little down, a little up, a little down, a little up. So we have an external rotation, yeah? The legs are turned out. So the femur bones are rotating open. The inner thighs should be lifting up towards the ceiling. So you feel that external rotation coming all the way from the hip joint. Heels are driving down into the mat. Now feel your heels squeeze in towards center. And you're really going to feel a lot more heat build into the outer thighs. And I feel it into the inner thighs as well. Yes, you're here for four. Three, two, you're going to stay low, lift right heel, lift left heel, yes, lift right heel, and left heel. This is a lower body slider class, right? So we need to get this cap work in as well. So really find that you're not changing the height of your torso. My hips are staying, st staying steady, nice and low, and all I'm layering on is this little calf raise. As you lift the heel, you're going to press the ankle bone forward and press the thigh bone back. You're here for four, three, two. Now I want you to lift that right heel, hold it, go a little drop, a little drop, a little drop. Right ankle bone presses forward, right thigh bone presses back. You're here for eight, six, four. Right heel down, left heel up. Let's go a little drop, a little drop, a little drop. Could you lift the chest? Could you open up across the collarbones, left ankle bone forward, left thigh bone back, you're here for eight, you're here for six, you're here for four, drop that left heel, hinge the torso forward, two, three, four, lift it up, two, three, yes, you hinge it forward, two, three, four, lift it up, two, Woo, two more, let's go, it's forward, two, three, Four, it's lift. Now I want you to hinge this one forward, and I want you to hold it. Yes, let's go, drop the hips, go a little drop, a little drop. Now you can stay here, or you can bring your hands to the chest for a little more of a balance challenge. You can stay here, or even more balance, you're gonna lift both heels up. Let's go, a little drop, a little drop, a little drop. Inner thighs are pressing open. Ankle bones are pressing forward. You're here for eight. You have a hold to finish class. You're there in four, three, two. Here's your hold inhale. As you exhale, press your ankle bones forward. Press your thigh bones back and sink even lower. Yes, hold here for four. Yes, get lower, three. Get lower, two. Hands to the mat, lift the hips. Rotate the legs to parallel and find your forward fold position. Whew. That feels amazing. <laughs> Maybe sway the hips from side to side here. Maybe let the upper body swing. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Walk your hands over to your right leg. Grab a hold of wherever you can get to comfortably with your right leg. And then just gently draw your heart towards your thigh. You're welcome to stay here, or if it feels good for you, you can bend into the left knee and get even more stretch for the right inner thigh. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more time, inhale. As you exhale, press back up to two straight legs and walk your hands over to your left leg. Again, grab wherever it's comfortable for you. Then use your exhale to reach your heart toward your left thigh. You can stay here. You can bend that right knee, getting even a little more stretch into the left inner thigh. Big inhale. Big exhale. 
One more time, inhale. As you exhale, press up to two straight legs, quarter turn toward the left, and then one more time, let's find our downward dog. Well, after all that work we just did into the calves, into the quadriceps, into the hamstrings, just take a moment and find some stillness here if it feels good for you. Shake your head out, squeeze your forearms in, and then really reach your sit bones up to the sky as you drive your heels down towards your mat. Inner thighs rotate in and back. Big breath in. Big breath out. Lift up the tippy toes, drop the knees down, find a comfortable position to sweep the arms up on an inhale and let them go on an exhale. Amazing, amazing work today. I hope you feel fantastic. I'll be back again next week with an all new Barak Mary class. Be sure to subscribe so that you are always the first to find out about the newest classes. Have a great day.